All right. Wednesday noon prayer. We're going to get rolling here in just a sec. Got to pull up my notes so I don't speak for 40 minutes. I'm sure a lot of you will appreciate that. Sorry, my dog just decided to get something to drink right as I press start. So. I don't. I wish I knew what was going on. He's just apparently extremely thirsty right now. He's so embarrassing. All right. Um, my goodness. How is everyone? Um, hey, tell me what you guys are eating for lunch. My wife makes seriously the best chicken salad on the planet. Um, and I know what you're saying, like, this person I know, or I make the best, or something like that. It's fine, you can think that, you're just wrong. Um, but my wife makes the best chicken salad on the planet, and I am, oh my goodness, my dog has, what in the world? Anywho, I apologize. But my wife makes the best chicken salad in the entire world, and I am thoroughly looking forward to a chicken salad sandwich right when I sign off here. Oh, Timber Kid's in the house. What up, boy? How are you guys? Oh, my goodness. We're going to get started in like one and a half minutes. Yeah, like one and a half minutes. And then we're going to get going. Leftover ham and beans. Oh, man. Um, whenever I was in elementary school, I used to, uh, uh, my mom used to, you know, pack my thermos. And I can tell you now, just the, the joy that would just course through my body when I'd open up my thermos, my Ninja Turtle thermos, and I'd see beanie weenies in there, just uh, beans with little hot dogs cut up in it. It was, it was, you knew it was going to be a good day. Mom was taking care of you. Uh, I love some beanie weenies. And I tell you now, at uh, the elementary school I went to, Powell Elementary, you walked in with beanie weenies, and you are a king. Um, you could trade that for anything. You could trade that for a kid's parent's house if you wanted to. So, All right, we're going to get started like, 30 seconds. Hi, everyone. How is everybody today? What are you guys eating for lunch? Write, write it out. Uh, and so, man, I am really looking forward to uh, this chicken salad sandwich. I shouldn't have talked about it because now that's all I can think about. It's just chicken salad sandwiches. So, you know, I wish uh, you guys want to you guys want to see my dog. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do this, but I'm running it today. So, so uh, there's the dog. He's licking his paw for whatever reason. He's seriously crazy, guys. Seriously crazy. All right, but anyway. <clears throat> My goodness. All right. Okay, it's noon. So ready or not, here, here we come. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for being here. Thanks for choosing to be a part of our Wednesday noon prayer. Um, this is something that I, and then also the church, does not take lightly, and we are grateful that you have chose to be with us. Um, if you guys don't know me, my name is Justin. I'm looking at my notes right now, just just so we're clear. Um, uh, my name is Justin. I am the student ministry pastor at Timberline Church, and I work a lot with middle school students and high school students and even some college kids, and so um, I... I just love what I get to do at the church. Um, I really do. I consider it a true blessing every single day, and I can't. I still, to this day, can't believe that I get to do what I do. But I'm going to paint you guys a quick picture. Um, this is middle school Justin getting uh, in the car after youth group. That's what they used to. That's what they used to call it. But I don't think anybody calls it youth group anymore. But gets in the car after youth group to head home, and and here I am leaning my head against the window. And my mom and my dad do this, do the you know the mom and dad thing, and they say, Justin, um, um, how was youth group? That's like, of course, always. How was youth group? Remember, no one calls it youth group anymore. Um, how was youth group tonight? And then I do what a typical middle school kid does. Fine. All right. Then I leave my head back against the window, and then, and then um, my mom says, oh, Okay, well, what did you learn at youth group tonight? And then I and then I do the I I, I don't know uh, nothing I guess nothing and then my mom says you had to learn something and then I'm like oh my gosh just leave me alone and so I think about this story often 
Because I think about whenever my middle school friends are getting in their car on Wednesday nights to head back home. And I, and I always think about these conversations that are going to be happening in this car. So a few years ago, I had this idea that I'd love to give uh, parents questions that they could ask their students. Ask the, the, the kids that are getting back in the car to head home and, and, and maybe spark some meaningful conversation. All right? And these are cool questions. They're, they're really, really fun questions, too. And so like, it, it could be like, hey, who's your, who's your best friend that is, is at TSM? That's Timberline Student Ministries. Or, or hey, um, um, who did you sit next to? What was the time that you laughed really, really hard? And then it's also some really great questions that can spark good conversation. And I always say, and, well, and the best part about this is this is, this is um, questions that these students have already answered in their small groups with their leaders. And so it's really cool because I always say if a student uh, uh, talks, it makes it easier for them to talk later. So, so it, it will be a very easier question to ask. There are about four or five questions, and I always leave them in, this, in the South Auditorium for parents to walk by and just pick up, and they're just a little piece of paper. But why am I sharing about this? This is Wednesday Noon Prayer. Why am I talking about this? And the reason I'm talking about this is because a few months ago, I asked our church to pray for students. And not only just pray for students, but pray for parents. Because the parents are the ones that are having these conversations with students, and, and, and we really want to encourage parents to be having these meaningful conversations. And so, and so to, to point them in that correct direction and give them some resources to use so that we can be praying or, or we can be engaging in these cool conversations on our way home. I call these questions my car questions, and I think they're hilarious and they're fun, but I really, want us, I really want to challenge us to pray for students. My goodness, do they need it. Our students today need your prayers. They do. Your, the, the, the parents of these students, they need your prayers. And so I really want to encourage you guys that whenever you see a student, it's really easy to get annoyed by them. It's really easy to be the, the, the old person and, and here's the thing, guys. Oh, I, I'm not like super old, but like kids think I'm a thousand. Like seriously, like, middle school kids are like, you're not, you're not my age. You're not my brother's age. So you must be 80. Like kids think I'm the craziest ages. But I tell you that it's because they need your prayers. They really, really do. Um, whenever you see these students... Maybe don't be the get-off-my-lawn guy. Maybe when we see these students, we, we, we take a step back and we say this three-second prayer in our hearts for these students. Pray for meaningful conversation. Pray that they may have an, a, an encounter with Jesus. And pray that it may change their life forever. And also pray for their parents. They need your prayers too. Pray that parents... Um, can, can point their, their, their kids to Jesus because that's what truly matters. So that's my challenge to you guys this week. When you see a student, doesn't matter what grade, it can be, it can be kindergarten, college, whatever, pray for them. Seriously, take, a, take three seconds to say a quick prayer for them. And maybe you're at the church tonight for our midweek services, and you see kids everywhere, pray for all of them. Don't miss a single one. Pray for that kid in the blue sweatshirt. Or play, pray for that kid who's wearing flip-flops, even though it's 50 degrees outside. Pray for them. That's my challenge to you guys. Thank you for being a, a part of our Wednesday noon prayers. Oh my gosh, if you guys would, would need some prayer, please message us. We would, we're dying to pray for you. Love you guys a whole bunch. Thank you for being a part of this. Um, and and, and thanks, for getting the, thanks for being cool with the middle school guy chatting with you this week. I, I, I am very grateful. But hey guys, love you a whole bunch. And uh, I'll see you uh, hopefully tonight at our Wednesday night services. See ya.